Hi everybody, it's great to see you. I hope you guys are enjoying your Wednesday. I am super excited because yesterday I got my first Laura Beauty box. So let me show you all the goodies I got. I'm actually wearing it right now. There is a highlighter on my face that I really like. I have it on my nose and here. I also am wearing this new uh, lipstick color. Actually, if you hold on one second. Alright, so yes, like I was saying, I got this nice lipstick on too, so I'm super excited about that, and I can't wait to show you guys what I got. So first off, let me go ahead and open it up, and let's see. This is the inside of it. It says, right here, it says, be the person your lipstick wants you to be. So I thought that was kind of cute. I guess that's this month's theme. And then it came with this little booklet that gives you information about all the products and what they are, and little stories that go with it too, behind the, I guess, the beauty director of, of Allure and things like that. So that's pretty cool. So let me stop blabbing and see if I can get some better lighting and also give you guys some uh, info about these products that we got. So... Hold on, just one sec. Alright, great, so that's much better. So, first off, I got this right here. This is that lipstick I told you guys that I'm wearing. It's from Burt's Bee. And here it is. It's like this nice little rosy pink that I like a lot because it's a nice neutral color. And the color itself is called Blush Basin. You can see right there. I don't know how clear I can get that for you, how focused, but this is it. So I'm really excited about that. And the good thing about this one is it makes your lips feel extremely soft, which I like a lot. And it's supposed to be uh, vegan-free as well, too. Ooh, here's another cool little thing. This is a little box, and it has... Oh, it's a little fragrance collection, so comes with this little box inside here that kind of gives you the 411. The only reason why I'm missing one of the vials is because when I opened this out I actually closed one of them a little bit too much and the spritzer kind of broke a little bit so yes. But it comes with all these different fragrances and it comes with this cool little like fold out thing that gives you a little 411 and the ingredients and things like that on what the items are or the perfumes are. Um, the names of them is the Amber Musk, which one I liked a lot. There's also the iCat, oh, sorry, iCat Jasmine, the Evening Rose, Iris Meadow, and Water Lily Sun. The Water Lily Sun is one of my faves too. So I thought that was really cool because it gives you a little bit of variety for some people that like a little, a little bit more floral and some people that are a little bit lighter than that. Or more lightly scented than that. <laughs> Excuse me. Ooh, also, I got this little Tarte mascara. It's the Tartist. It is black. Let me open this up for you so I can show you guys what the brush looks like. Or the applicator. That's a cute little top I like. And the cool thing about this brush here is you can see... It has like the little separators and it definitely works. I used it today on my lashes, but you can see. So this look that I have created today is mainly inspired by this box here. Another really cool item that they included with this, which I was surprised because I wasn't sure if I was going to like it because I'm not a big fan of mint. But they had this, ob this in there too and it's a minty mint lip treatment and it's supposed to smooth nurture and soften your lips with botanicals and oils made from with a hint of natural mint in it and again this is also vegan free i believe so i will use that earlier and it definitely makes it feel like your lips are getting moisturized like they should be and also i tried this product before I did all of these and it's like a little moisturizer for your skin and it's supposed to be for age preventing as well which I did use that in, in my profile I did say I have a little bit of issues thinking I'm getting like crow's feet around my eyes 
and this has kale, spinach, green tea, and vitamins A, C, E, and B5, aloe uh, olive vera, excuse me, and chamomile lotion all in this. And it applies to all face and neck on all skin types. So, yes, this is the product I tried. This is the company it is by. I definitely like this. It wasn't too thick, and it was a very light, creamy feeling as well. And last but not least, I definitely thought this was awesome. It's a little compact highlighter from C C L E. I don't know why I keep stopping myself. But it comes with a little mirror here, a little thing, little poof or sponge. And this is what I like a lot about this one. I'm actually wearing it right now on my nose and over here. But this is what it looks like. And let me do a tiny little swatch for you on my hands. See if you can see it. It's like a really light shimmery. I'm not positive if you guys can see it. But I did try to show you. Maybe if I can... Uh, See. Anyways, I really like this color too, so I'm definitely going to be using this more often. And I'm extremely satisfied with my first Laura box and cannot wait to see what the next ones hold. Alright, well, I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your Wednesday, and I will catch you next time. And if you haven't yet, go ahead and subscribe below. Alright, bye everybody!